Compassion A rabbi was preparing for his lovely daughter's wedding with mixed emotions. Although he eagerly awaited the special day, anxiety developed in his heart. Many years earlier, a pagan astrologer predicted a poisonous snake would bite his daughter on her wedding day. The rabbi was determined not to relay his fears to anyone and to trust that God would protect his daughter. The wedding day arrived, and the guests ate and danced joyfully. In the midst of the celebration, a hungry beggar entered the hall and stared at the banquet of scrumptious food. He pleaded for food, but no one noticed him. Only the bride saw the poor man. She quietly took her plate of food and gave it to him. No one noticed her act of kindness. No one realized that the bride herself had not eaten. That evening, the rabbi's daughter went to her room. She removed a large gold pin that had secured her veil and stuck it in a crack between the tiles of the wall. The bride awoke the next morning and was shocked to find a dead snake stuck beneath her gold pin. The snake had been hiding, waiting to bite the bride. She had killed the snake unintentionally with her gold pin. When the rabbi heard of the incident, he remembered the words of the pagan astrologer. Tell me, dear daughter, what special deed did you do yesterday to deserve God's mercy? His daughter told him about the hungry beggar and her act of kindness. The rabbi cried out, For your act of charity God spared your life. May you continue to perform many more good deeds throughout your life. It is when we become self-absorbed or selfish, whether in our own moment of joy or, God forbid, sorrow, that we may forget to fulfill the needs of others. The rabbi's daughter demonstrated that one must always be sensitive to the needs of another. We exist temporarily through what we take, but we live forever through what we give. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy.